Hello everybody, I'm back with another video for you today, and it may be time for V to make a bit of a resurgence. Uh, a lot of people are not running heat waves these days, we've got quite a bit of Skellige, which is devotion based, we've got quite a bit of Syndicate, which does have heat waves, we've got a bunch of other factions being played, not so much Nilfgaard as there was previously when V was being, you know, quite often played, quite popular. Lockdown, not a thing anymore, so quite a few decks that had a good time against V are not really super played at the moment. Uh, and that means we've got a bit of a window to, to roll in with the V, smash some faces. Probably people have still been playing this deck at lower ranks, but of course on pro rank, uh, meta's a bit different. And, uh, well, V might be coming back there soon, I've been told. Uh, we've got Fuka in here as well, which is a card which has a very gnarly premium, by the way. Look at... Just actually tearing this guy's head off. Um, but yeah, it's been changed to Thrive 2. So this guy thrives a lot in a V deck. You know, you're basically proccing it every time you play V and it's getting boosted twice. So it's actually a pretty powerful engine. Uh, and yeah, hopefully there just won't be a huge amount of removal and heat waves for the Slizzards, the Barbagazi. I'm not sure if the, uh, the deck is quite right in terms of the ratios because we are running no beast. Only one Babagazi. Not sure if something was quite quite right there, but I've been told Fuka's very, very good, so I wanted to try out two of two of Fuka uh, rather than something like another Babagazi. But feel free to experiment, change something around uh, if that's what you're feeling. A Huaraquack, still a deadly play. And V should be getting pretty big without too much effort. Still got a haunt, still got a bunch of points. So I'm pretty curious to see how well this deck will do in the current meta. Uh, and whether it has what it takes to be a top tier deck again. By the way, my hair is just really... I don't even know how it's um, how it's so... Okay, whatever. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Let's just jump into some games. <laughs> okay, a little bit of uh, Dwarf action. This is a deck I haven't actually played against really. Uh, despite it being very strong, I think. Which is interesting. I'm not sure why people have not taken that much of a liking to the dwarves, but um, yeah, should be a battle of two very greedy decks, I think. We'll see who ends up coming out on top. We've got an awful lot of Thrive, probably too much. Don't want the Bruxa here. Uh, can maybe Mulligan Barghest as well. Foglet's okay for a bit of thinning. I think I'll just Mulligan the Bruxa because we've just got so many Thrive units already. I don't want to slow myself down too much. Definitely do want to try to play a and a Huaraquax round one. It's, it's quite refreshing playing V when it's not really a popular deck. Let's me uh, lets me get my games in, um, you know, without too much trouble. Ooh, these guys are very vulnerable to Berserker. I'm not sure I should have played them first. That may have been a small mistake. But what can you do? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, oh god no, this is terrible, it's fine, we're, we're losing a Necker, we should have played Lava first though, they're not, not vulnerable and then you can play Neckers after, and then it's less likely one of them will die, I just forgot that Berserker was a card, I was only thinking about Pyrotechnician, that was a silly move on my part for sure, very silly. But alright, it's gonna hit the Necker again, which is annoying, because now I'm basically not gonna have a great chance to play my Lava. I'm gonna have to risk it if I want to. So I'll just play Foglet instead for now, and then probably Lava afterwards. That was really dumb. I've, I've set myself back so many points here in this round just from that slight was misplay. So oh god, this poor Necker's just getting fucking smacked. It's not going to hit him again, surely. The chances of that happening would be quite, well, monumentally small. So I think we should be okay. Oh, but if there's three Rowdy Dwarves, then, uh, yeah, the chances are a little bit higher. <laughs> oh, goodness me, this is so many points. All right, Huaraquax. Let's take out the Bruvo or whatever. Pavco Gale. It's so a pretty good one to get rid of. Interesting card to see in Dwarves, though. It's quite unusual. I think we may just be getting outpointed here, guys. I don't know, we're V. We can, we can just keep pushing. We don't have to give up very easily. That's for sure. 
wonder if they have some movement to enable Pavko. It would be not too fun. Does mean they have an awful lot of good cards in hand. So if we can trade bad cards for good here, we'd actually be in great shape. You're lucky to keep your uh, in this deck, I mean, our bad cards are essentially just all right. V, right? Uh, well, at this point, it's just V, so that we can carry over stuff. This is a lot of uh, a lot of pain that we're receiving from the opponent right now. Of course, still no real point in using my crystal skull at this stage. I can imagine they've, I mean, they've played so many good cards. They're just going to take the card advantage here, which is fair enough. Can't really blame them. Uh, I'll play Nagelfar, because then we're drawing an extra V into next round, which is always nice. So we're a card down, which is not really what you like to see. But we do have the ability to push. We've got Munro from them, which is one of the scarier cards for sure. Bruva as well, quite scary. Xavier, there's all of these kind of kind of guys around, um, potentially for the opponent. So we'll see what we can do. Probably once again Mulligan Bruxa. Not a huge fan of it here, and I think Barbagazi. So we probably don't need that. I think I'll play Lava and I'll play actually um, Haunt as well. Maybe not Scissor this round. We'll see how it goes, but. I'm just going to do a bit of a push. Just the classic V ways, right? Have a short round three, ideally. Uh, we do have quite a lot of Thrive in the deck, though, which means going for a short round is a little bit less ideal. That's for sure. Um, okay, let's see. Do we just play Slizzard here? Or is it Haunt? That's an interesting question. I think it's Slizzard, actually. Because if we play Haunt, the Banshee can die, which wouldn't be great. We can do Haunt for points in round 3, right? I guess so. I don't know, we'll see what we need here. I think I'm just bleeding, like, so that Abruva isn't so big, pretty much. That's kind of the main thing to be concerned about, I think. So we'll maybe do one more V and then pass, something like that. Maybe we'll just pass now after this play. I'd love to get my card back so that we're not at a mega disadvantage. Can dwarves fight? Ah, the fresh person leaves. Yeah, it looks like one more V, doesn't it? Looks like one more V. Alright. And then we'll pass. And this should hopefully get our card back. I don't know. Will it cost them three cards to make 27 points? Maybe. Maybe they can do it in two. There's a Bruva. Okay, that's a pass from me for We're sure. Let's get to work. Pretty big card gone. Albeit we're probably still a card down. We at least have our V, you know, big strength. And in typical, uh, uh, get this you know, in typical V fashion, we're a card down, but <laughs> hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Definitely won these situations before. I'm not sure what more they have, now that the Bruver and the Barclay are out. Maybe a Xavier, maybe a Yarpen. Oh, those draws are beautiful, look at that. Keep it. Absolutely lovely. All of our golds. Couldn't ask for better. This V is still going to be very big. They, uh, they may have nerfed it, but... It's <laughs> still 22 right now, which is not a small amount of points. Uh, have you seen a fuse lying about, have you? Yeah, this is actually really annoying, because I, I probably still have to go Haunt. It's not a huge deal. I could also just play the V, but if they have Heat Wave, then I lose. So. It's whatever. We offer them the Banshee. It's a bit of a shame, but... Mercenary. Oh, got any hooch left. Mercenary? In a dwarf deck. Fair enough, fair enough. Can't be a hater on that one, really. So now, mate, can you keep up with the V points? That's the real question. Can you keep up with the ever growing V? It's a struggle for any deck. Provided you don't have uh, tool removal. Ooh, Gezras. Ah! 
What is this Gezraz doing, mate? Now, the opponents had a nightmare there. They've, they've actually not understood how Gezraz works. Interesting. Well, let's go for another one. <laughs> All right, bit of Nilfgaard. Double Cross was a deck that could definitely beat V back in the day. So, we'll see how this goes. Of course, we still have all our weaknesses as a V deck. Let's get rid of that. Ruxa can go. I mean, honestly, I'm not even sure we want Nekka's round one. Um, uh, Lava are just as bad. If they're playing Assimilate, then they can just take them and use them themselves, right? But what can you do? What can you do? I do think there's some kind of merit to like not actually allowing them to take take your Thrive units in round one because be a bit of a pain. Obviously later in the game when the rounds are shorter it's not as huge of a problem but you know it's what it is. We'll see. Nilfgaard's got some scary cards. Invocation and Leo and stuff like that. We'll see if the opponent's actually running any of them. A hand doesn't have V. Doesn't have a Neuromancy so we're gonna definitely be kind of committing more than we'd like potentially here. Well, this looks like a uh, sort of value. It's good stuff, double cross. So far. Could still be assimilate, but it looks more like a poison sort of deck, right? Which may, may be a bad thing for us. Maybe a bad thing for us. We will see. Um, Alright, I think we'll just go ahead and play Hwaraquax now. Seems like the play, just to make sure the opponents, you know, kept honest. I am with a super soldier. Okay, it's one good card gone, which is nice. Okay, Never here come uh, here come poisons onto Never. my onto my slizzard, I guess. <laughs> We can play around poison a little bit with bar guest, so I think we'll do that. Let's eat the foglet now, and then if they poison again, we can go with bar guest. It's a bit scary, because then they could, of course, invo on the bar guest if they want to do that. But if we get tool removal in that way, rather than through just poison, then it's going to be a, quite a bit better for us. There shouldn't be another poison here beyond this one, so feeling quite comfortable to bar guest. If we get Invocation, that's a really key card that can be used to fuck us up later. That's gone. I mean, it obviously wouldn't be ideal if we end up losing the round here. But there are worse things that could happen, I think. Just going to be Enforcers. That's what we like to see. That means we can go ahead and play another V, should we want to. I think we will. Freedom. I long One for freedom. more V. Maybe playing Nagelfar was the way there, but I'm not too bothered, I think both Nagelfar and Hillock are fine. We could even go Nagelfar next if they're going to play on, just to make our draws a bit better. It's possible. A shame I have no time. Yeah, I don't think we want to give them round one if, if possible. So let's play a Nero, beautiful. And we'll have to use a leader charge, but that's just... Uh, it's part of life really, isn't it? Obviously the downside to V, the big nerf, having an impact here, but hopefully it won't be, you know, a game winning impact or a game deciding impact, I should say. I'm gonna push round two as well, of course, we want to find Masquerade Bull from them and shorten round three if we can. So probably play Haunt just to cycle V and then, if we can afford not to commit Haunt, that'd be great, but that would require us getting like a... Uh, I mean, this is a haunt hand if I've ever seen one, man. <laughs> so we're drawing the, uh, we're drawing everything. It's like we just haunt it up. And if they commit bull, then we may, we can, we could consider passing, but I think it's probably still best to play on at that point. We'll see though. There's bull. Okay. Mm, a superb specimen, truly. So the question is, do we actually play on? It's quite interesting, isn't it? I mean, Ball is such a good card. We could just take a pass here. The problem is then we won't have many consumes. 
So I think I would like to consume at least once. They could go Roderick, Joachim, but honestly, if they play all of those good cards, then we're probably winning anyway, right? If they play all of their power here in order to activate Ball, that's probably okay. So I think I'll just play at least one, get one trigger from the Haunt. Then if they poison our stuff, we might say, yeah, you know what? Too much. Emir, okay. Patience okay. is not a virtue I am known to have. It's fine, isn't it? So it's spies, kind of a spy deck, and we've managed to split kind of all their good stuff, which is really nice. Um, we could just dump all of our points into one unit and hope they don't have an Invocation or a Peter or a Leo. I'm pretty tempted to do it, honestly. I think I'll do it. I'll play it with Willem as well. Low commitment. Sometimes submission is a virtue. So, now we can eat. Bargast. <laughs> I mean, this is ballsy, right? This is like the definition of ballsy Gwent play. But hopefully it rewards us. We can hope. But there's not two more poisons. There might be. But, you know, worst case scenario, we have 22 point V for round three. Is it really that bad? That's the question you got to ask. Okay, there's an invert. A little bit painful. A bit little bit painful. Does mean they have Desert Banshee on top, but yeah, I guess that removal was always going to come out here, wasn't it? So the question we have now is, could we ever consider playing on? I just don't think so, right? Doesn't look good. In theory, we could brick their leader if we played another card. Like, if we played both cards. But I don't think we're beating Joachim. We might just be losing because of that invo. Ah! Painful. But, you know, we're going to get in mode at some point. It doesn't really matter whether it was this round or the final round, right? Neckers are a no-go. Okay. Eh, pretty bad hand, all things considered. Definitely wanted to find a consume, like a... Uh, Barbaga... Uh, you know, Suzzard, Barbagazzi. Even a warrior would have been okay. Here, we're just not going to be able to get that many Vs, which is quite disappointing. Quite disappointing. This little V's we may be losing, and also they can actually just lead her here, right, and um, essentially take my shit. True love could lift the curse, but who would love such Which we may be freak. losing. Nilfgaard still has the tools, still has the ways to beat V. Maybe we should have passed when they poisoned. I don't know, I don't know. But then they would have Invo for this round, so it's kind of whatever, right? Is what it is. In theory, we could still win. I mean, we've got one more V, we've got whatever card we choose. In fact, should we be playing like a uh, Fuka? What is the card that we should play here? It may, we can maybe consume the Joachim as well. So let's keep our eyes sort of open for that. Okay, interesting coup coming up. So they're gonna lava it up. I hate nothing more than a creaky door. In, all, in all honesty, that gives me some confidence here that there's no um, no Joachim, potentially. Which could be good. I could have maybe even eaten the informant to play around all that stuff, but was not uh, was not with it, unfortunately. So the question I have is, do we play Fuka for the most points, or do we... Like, this is an 8. So we could play an 8. Or, we could say, I think there's going to be... Nah, there's no reason to eat stuff now at this stage, right? So, we should play Fuka, seems like. I mean, provided this, we think this is going to survive, which actually it might die and be worth nothing, so... That's a bit awkward. Okay, Aristocrats is chill. He's up to something. I mean, they're, they're actually thriving up a hell of a lot, so that's not chill. All things considered, if their last card is also an Aristocrats, or like, Aristocrats Enforcers, something like that. God, there's actually a lot of points with all the lava though, holy schmoly. Yeah, we've actually kind of memed ourselves a little bit here. 25 points though, can you match it, mate? Can you match it? Obviously an Igni here would be quite, <laughs> quite the thing. For Fion, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good one. Oh, I think we got him. Jesus. Jesus! Ah, it doesn't trigger Thrive. It's a one strength unit. Got him. 
Wow, that was actually, I'm, I'm kind of surprised we won that, but it's just V, doing V things, right? Let's go again. K, a bit more Nilfgaard, enslave, interesting. Might the be, uh, tuck tail and beg for mercy. might actually be a deck that has some removal, some answers for our, for our scissors and babagazis and stuff. Hefty Helga you're imagining is a pretty nasty card here, potentially, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see. This could be a tough matchup, though. Not sure Fuka will ever live. <laughs> not sure how I feel about this card. It's been kind of okay so far, but not as strong as I was being told, kind of. I suppose. I have a bad feeling about my Neckers, man. This is gonna be really rough. Yeah, <laughs> Neckers are not. They're not having a good time on this board, let me tell you that. Oh, good. Goodness me. It's looking pretty rough. Ah, oh, god. Okay, Enslave is actually just, like, the worst thing, man, for a player like me to be playing against. Maybe just go V, and if it dies, it's just whatever, mate. GG, go next, kind of vibes. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling that. I mean, they can also just yoink it, though. It's so vulnerable. Nah, we can't really... Can't really GG, go next. Probably gonna steal my Foglet as well. It's just going to be a miserable experience. A clever maneuver. Amnesty. I don't know how Amnesty works on the Foglet, mate. How, how does that happen? The Foglet's just like, yeah, you know what? I'll join the Nilfgaard team. I don't actually know what Amnesty's... What is this? It's like meant to be a spy coming back, right, I guess? If the spy gets released, I suppose? I don't know. I don't really know the lore behind this stuff. I'm not gonna have any units survive here, man. It's just part of life, I guess. Ah, Nilfgaard, why? You were supposed to not be the most played faction, yet you are the faction I've queued the most into today. What's up with that? I guess people never get tired of Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard never gets old. Nilfgaard will always be popular. Ban more Helm Hunter. I wonder what my snares would have captured this time. Incredible. Incredible scenes here, guys. I'm just so screwed. <laughs> I'm just beyond screwed in this game. But we'll see what we can do. It's important to showcase some matchups that are not favorable. Just so you know what it's like to get fucked up by the opponent. Because it will happen here and there. <gasps> is my Babagazi going to get through? You've got to be joking. How has that happened? How have I actually got a Babagazi through? What, what world am I living in where they don't have removal? It's very strange. And we're winning the round. Uh -huh. Turn back. Hello? So I not only won the round, but I actually buffed my V twice. What? What? <laughs> what is that? I don't understand what just happened. I guess their hand must be very, very bizarre. We might actually get away with playing Neckers in this game, which is something that I just really didn't believe would happen. Morgan, this guy, and Bruxa. Okay, we have a lot of Vs. The question is, can we actually activate them? Not convinced that we will be able to. But I will play Neckers and I will try to fray them with Villain. Because I don't got much better to do with my life. There's a Helga. Alright, Villain's gonna keep Neckers alive, hopefully. Here we go. And honestly, we can maybe take a pass pretty soon after. Oh, Ehwarapax, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, Stefan, beautiful! BAM! <laughs> That's the knockout punch right there. Oh my. Ranged Stefan is now on the melee road. You love to see it, mate. You love to see it. Now what? Now what, Mr. Nilfgaard? Masquerade ball! Oh my god! What? What? That's everything. Get out of the round. Go, go, go. Clear out. Get out of here. <laughs> what is going on? 
How did we get literally all of their broken ass, uninteractable cards? Like, I can't deal with any of these cards, and we've managed to get all of them in round two. All of them. I can't state how incredible this is for us. Ay ay ay. The neck has just carried me. Just carried me. All that for a drop of blood, as Thanos would say. And we're even getting poison from them. Okay, well, yeah. Roderick's out. What is there left? Joachim? Not really too worried about that. Not sure whether the opponent's just like overly confident. Maybe they have Invo. Maybe they're like, I don't, don't really care about this V stuff in round three, mate. Could be what they're thinking. But I'm quite happy with the cards I have right now. I think we could even mulligan a Fuka. Because it's probably going to die. And we managed to draw Haunt. Wow! That's a lot of Vs. We can play a lot of Vs here. Okay, this Let guy's a bit, of a, this nonsense, this bit of a problem. God, this card really looks like a uh, Ebo boot. There's a, there's a Gwent streamer guy. Looks very like him. It's actually uncanny. There's no way it's not him, right? Well, whatever. I think we're I think we're looking okay here. We've still got to deal with the enslave. They're just still pumping out good card after good card. I don't know how they manage it. After playing so many provisions already. Just Nilfgaard things, I suppose. They're gonna steal Banshee, they are. Alright. It's gonna be quite difficult to consume the V a lot of times here. We're probably gonna have to take a consume from the deck, maybe a Scissored and hope it lives, but I'm not even sure it will. And that might be where our downfall is in this game. It may actually be difficult to get our Vs, you know, to eat them. Or if we do eat them, we may be playing into tool removal. Bribery into villain, okay. Sometimes submission is a virtue. <laughs> oh god, what is that? What? what is this, mate? Is this what it, is this what ladder is like for for most people? Is this what the ladder experience is like? What what am I playing? What am I playing against? Oh my. Yeah, we're giving them a 40 point invocation, but it's just that's just V, isn't it? It's just how it goes. We can eat the Night Wraith with a Barbagazi. Well, I call it Barbagazi, but it's a Barghast. Barghast can eat Night Wraith. We can carry on our merry way. Maybe we even eat a Joachim if they play it. Joachim. Joachim. I don't know how you meant to say it. Lieutenant Flout will lead the scouts. Lieutenant Flout. Oh, War Council, what is going on, mate? I don't even know if they have poison, to be honest. But I'm not really that scared. Maybe I should be. I mean, if they have poison and invo, do we lose? Do they have poison? I guess they do, right? They probably do. So I guess we do eat our guy. Kind of weird. We've got double V. Oh my. <laughs> Do they actually have... Do they actually have an info at the end here? Okay, we need to do some quick maths, right? I don't think there's any way. If we, if we just consume this and play V, I don't see there's any way we lose. Invo isn't winning, right? I don't even need another V, dude. Like, Invo doesn't win here, so... Yeah. They actually have Invo as well! Oh my god! That was pretty nuts. That was actually pretty nuts. Jesus. So we didn't need to eat. We could have just said, ah, you don't have the poison. But it doesn't matter. We win regardless. Interesting one. They they definitely had the tools to win that matchup, but 
Uh, I don't know if we just got mega lucky or if the opponent threw or what, but win is a win. Let's go for one last one. Ah, yes. Good old Skellige Overlords. Humans Back at it again. The same. This matchup, I think, shouldn't be too bad, actually. If I'm uh, thinking straight. I think it should be okay for us, provided we can mulligan the Noonwraith. And the Bargas too. And maybe a Bruxa. Bruxa as well. Kind of a low priority keep. Got the Fuka. Fuka's probably dying to a lot of things though, which is quite sad. Get Lava on the board. V is just it's kind of pleasant to play. I know I know many people hate the deck, and myself included, on some level, it is kind of degenerate, toxic filth. But it's just very relaxing to play. You just play big guys, you just thrive around. You don't really give a crap what the opponent does. You just do your own thing, you have a million points. You hope they don't have a Yurden, that's about it. Uh, and that's the kind of gameplay I'm here for right now. All about that. Fuka is very vulnerable to the four damage removals, which is a shame, right? But if it, if it survives, then it's a wonderful card. Just a wonderful card. More Let's play it. I'm assuming it will die, but... You know. You miss every shot you don't take, as they say. So, gotta have a go. I think I'm, I'm growing some kind of facial hair right now. I don't know what the plan is. I may actually, um... I may actually let it just thrive, as it were. Um... <laughs> Been kind of convinced by Mr. Beardy Bog. Leave it a few months, have a little beard come along. No. What do you guys think? Do you think a beard would look good on me or would it look actual garbage? That's what you have to tell me in the comments. If you made it this far in the video. You know, interestingly, the analytics tell me quite a lot of people don't watch very late into Gwent videos. Seems like a lot of people come just for the deck. Click the deck, aha, yoink my deck now. And then there's a good portion of people that watch on, watch through the video, watch the gameplay, but it's quite interesting, I think. Alright, uh, no messing around, just Ihwaraquax immediately, get the ice, get the whatever, Harold, yep. Oh god, it feels so good. Ihwaraquax is such a gross card, man, like it's... It really is pretty disgusting, the things you do with this card. Just get fucked, right? Like, one of your best cards is gone, and at the same time, I've carried over a few points. Car I've carried over a few points onto my V. I mean, realistically, the nerf isn't too bad, provided they're not killing your Sizzards and your Babagazi and stuff. Then the nerf to V actually doesn't feel too bad at all. It's, um, you know, not too restricting. I guess Heatwave on Haunt could be a problem as well, but we haven't we haven't encountered that yet, so just shows you the changes have or the changes to what people are playing are important in some way. Could play another Slizzard, I'm quite tempted to, just to stay in the round and not give it up. Gives me another op you know, another play. Makes me less vulnerable to a Morkvarg. They could probably kill it if they really want to with uh, gutting slash or something, right? But we'll just get the thrive value, and I'm not too worried about, you know, eating stuff with the second scissor. Just thrive, and then it's there as an option if it survives. And if not, then it's eating removal and stuff anyway, which it would probably eat later in the game. If it doesn't consume your own units, it consumes the opponent's removal cards, right? Right, guys? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like a Morkvark might be coming. I can feel it on the horizon, but it doesn't slow me down, it doesn't scare me. If anything, it motivates me to go further and push harder in this round. Because I'm a V player, I don't give up. I don't give up that easily, man. You've got to play your actual good cards for me to be scared. Play the Morkvark, go ahead. Ah, they're really not giving this round up. I guess they feel like if they do, they probably lose. Which may be the case. I'll play Nagelfar now. If there's a Morkvarg, there's a Morkvarg, man. That's just part of life. 
What can you do, right? It's like the water cycle. I remember learning about that at school. God, that feels like a lifetime ago. Very weird, weird stuff. <laughs> what am I talking about anyway? <gasps> they're hitting it! No Morkvag! That's signaling no Morkvag. Either that or they're like a, a huge brain player and they've just decided to do that. To signal that they don't have a Morkvag when they do, in fact, have a Morkvag. I don't care. My Suzzard is getting pretty thick and I like it. That's how I like my Suzzards. I like them real thick and juicy. 40 strength. That's how I, that's how I roll. God, imagine if these creatures actually existed, maybe. Imagine these things, like, were actual things. Kind of terrifying. A little bit terrifying. Imagine living when dinosaurs were around. I find that really, really bizarre to think about, like, how actually dinosaurs were actually real, and they, like, fucking ran around and ate each other and stuff. I don't know, mate. To me, that's just wild. Just wild. Like, the, the world has been around for so... Okay, I'm, I'm really going off on a bit of a wild tangent here, aren't I? But, you know, that's what we love to do here. How, how are they still playing? I think I'm going to have to pass now. I've had enough of this. I suppose if they give the round up, they really can't win, right? So... Let's, let's play on, I guess. <laughs> Just never stop, literally. <laughs> I will keep playing V until I win the game, mate. That's my strategy. <laughs> All these intricate strategies. I'm a I'm a warrior player. I will play Han Kaduk and I will heal my units while damaging my own units to buff the protector. And then there's me over here and I'm just like, yeah, I'll play V until I win the game. Sounds good. Big strategy. But yeah, I would love to win the round because then we can actually push potentially and uh, get the iced from them. If we can split up iced, it makes the leader quite awkward and I'm assuming that's why the opponent cares so much about not losing the round because they don't want that to be uh, bled from them. It can be very awkward to get the bloodthirst going as well, right? For, or well, not even bloodthirst, but just two strength unit for um, what's it called? Blood Eagle, right? Okay, so I think we'll just haunt. We've got, um, you know, we can trigger it and then we can do V in round three as well. It's just a pretty nice, pretty nice V game here. I could play Fuka. Fuka's actually pretty pog with a haunt, right? Because it can just benefit a lot from the Thrive, but we'll see. It's quite slow, so. Depends what they go with. Might be a bit too slow. Ah, if they play Totem, it's not. Sure, we'll play Fuka then. Totem's like just a raw point play. If they were setting up Blood Eagle or something, then we would be a bit worried and want to get the uh, get the V down ASAP. But this, combined with the fact they've already played Gutting the Slash, makes me pretty confident that Fuka will get some something done. It might die to uh, Skordal, I guess. I feel like if they had Skordal, they probably would kill the Banshee. So, I'm not sure they have it on hand. A little bit of a deduction, but you can never know. You can never know these things for sure. Got Raiding Fleet. Okay. I mean, my villain looks really good if they don't click Totem now. Part of me feels like I should have even gone for that uh, last turn, but. Maybe they'll be greedy. Nah, not on this occasion. At least we can still block the hand Kaduk, potentially for some value. Do that now. A king faces difficult choices. Unfortunately, we draw the Royal Decree, which means we have one less tutor in the deck now, but not the biggest problem in the world. I can think of bigger problems. Just keep pushing now. Deny Bloodthirst, make Iced quite weak. Make Blood Eagle quite weak. No Harold finisher. Gonna be quite quite a uh, muted round three for the Skelliger player, I think. Provided we can draw it into our V, we should be good to go. 
I'm a bit scared about that because now that we've lost the Royal Decree, that's one less fee for us. And I'm not sure we're winning right now, right here. Obviously, I'm going to play my last card because we kind of have to. We're getting so much value from Fuka, from Haunt. It just feels very silly not to, but we might not be too open. Like, there's a potential for us to be, uh, I shall never to be dropping be here. Um, also, unfortunately, we have given them Blood Eagle now, which is a bit awkward. But whatever. Just eat the Fuka, I guess. May have been better to eat the Night Wraith. I'm not sure. Not sure. I'm just trying to kind of deny bloodthirst potential. To make an iced awkward. It looks like he will be awkward. I mean, it will still be a lot of points, but... At that point, I'm not sure what more they really have to win the game with. But yeah, I kind of... I forgot that we'd actually enable Blood Eagle. Um, with the rats. So maybe there was an argument to pass a turn earlier. I don't know. It's kind of a weird argument. If it is one. I guess you could put them on having Blood Eagle iced, maybe, in hand. And then in some cases you would win then if you... I don't know. It is what it is. And I think we're going to get the iced and the leader here no matter what. Um, it shouldn't be enough to just win them the round. So they'll have to play last card as well. Will that be enough? And shall stand ever together. We'll find out. Doesn't need to be too many points because, of course, Iced is broken. May Freya choose We've the got two units for that Blaze of Glory, but they do need 11, so that's pretty tough. Willem has blocked the Hen Kaduk as well, so... Jenge not going to cut it. Ah, not it today. So we've got a 2-0 without even using our leader. Just V things. You love to see it. Yeah, I mean, I guess V is still pretty good. <laughs> Maybe even better than it used to be. Not much uh, removal control answers to your stuff going around. So if you're in the market for some V, then don't play this deck. Don't do that. Don't inflict that upon the world. Upon these poor folks just trying to jam some Skelliger on ladder, okay? Don't do that. But anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe as always for more content. I love you all very much and have a great one. Bye-bye.